Dobermans really are amazing animals. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the five most surprising facts and little known facts about the Doberman breed, from their amazing capabilities all the way through some very significant impacts they've had on historical events. These dogs truly are the superheroes of the dog world. Before we jump into it, guys, if you'd hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell icon next to it, I would definitely appreciate it. It would help me to keep bringing you these Doberman videos to teach you about your dog or just a breed in general if you're just curious about the Dobermans. All right, guys, let's jump into the five most surprising facts about this breed. First up, they have excellent, excellent hearing. These dogs can hear sounds up to 250 feet away. Now, that is two and a half football fields stacked end on end. And we're not talking loud sounds either. These dogs have incredible hearing, very impressive senses, and actually their scenting ability is also incredible, which is why they're used quite often uh, as search and rescue dogs with various government agencies. And really they have a long list of other physical capabilities that are equally impressive. They can jump six feet high, they can run up to 35 miles per hour, and they will follow you into the bathroom like a Terminator if you're trying to get a little alone time. <laughs> Um, these are incredibly impressive dogs with a long list of physical capabilities. That is nothing to laugh at. Number two, did you know there's such a thing as Doberman drill teams? It's true. It's comprised of Doberman owners and their dogs that march and parade around, much like a marching band almost, uh, in unison, uh, synchronized in a way that showcases the Doberman's agility and amazing obedience. Now, the first of these was in 1959, performed at Madison Square Gardens in New York City, but there's been many of them since, and actually one of the best known ones was the Miss Alvarez Doberman drill team, and they performed for close to 30 years at hospitals and public events all over the country. Um, now, if you wanna see one of these uh, drill teams in action, there should be a video popping up in the corner of your screen uh, so you can get an idea of what this looks like. Number three, Dobermans assisted in the recovery efforts after the September 11th, 2001 terrorist attacks in New York City. And while there are certainly others, um, Shirley Hammond and her Doberman Sonny are probably the most well-known. And Shirley worked for the U.S. Federal Emergency Management Agency, and her and Sonny responded to New York City after the September 11th uh, terrorist attacks to assist in the recovery efforts since Sonny was a trained search and rescue dog. And although her dog Sonny was trained in recovering live people, um, he quickly kind of fell into another more grim role after arriving there. And in one interview, uh, Shirley was quoted as saying, quote, we did actually locate the body of a fireman, which was a dramatic find for the dog. Uh, Sonny is technically a live fine dog, but because there were no live victims in the area, uh, he took the search a step further and started locating human remains. And while that certainly was a grim duty to undertake, Sonny definitely fell into another role during his downtime there um, while he was getting approached quite often by other rescue and recovery effort workers who really just needed to get their mind off of what was going on. And Sonny loved the attention and really helped ease the minds of a lot of these rescue workers that certainly had to go through a very grim duty during that time. And you know, unfortunately, Sonny did pass away in 2004, but his legacy certainly lives on. Number four, they are insanely intelligent. And I know you probably know this, but you probably don't know how intelligent they are. Now, researcher Stanley Korn of the University of British Columbia did some research on this and found that dogs can learn up the meaning of up to 150 different words, and they can use basic level deception and tricks to get treats or what they want from humans and other dogs. Their intelligence is on par um, with a two-year-old human child. And I can tell you as a dad of a three-year-old child that even when my son was two years old, he was already negotiating with me for treats, for snacks, for, um, for things that he wanted to do for his bedtime. He was doing lots of negotiations with me. And the fact that a dog can be on par with a two-year-old child as far as intelligence is just absolutely amazing to me. Now, if that's dogs in general, where do the Dobermans rank? 
Well, pretty much no matter what outlet you look at who studies the intelligence of different breeds, the Doberman is always in the top five smartest dog breeds in the world, which is incredibly impressive to me. And I'm sure Doberman owners out there who are watching this know exactly what I'm talking about when I refer to these dogs using deception to get treats from you. Number five, these dogs are war heroes. And in 1944, Doberman Pinchers fought alongside the US Marine Corps during the Battle of Guam. Uh, these amazing dogs were recruited at the time with the help of the Doberman Pinscher Club of America and were trained at the War Dog Training Center in Camp Knox, North Carolina. And actually these dogs end up being nicknamed Devil Dogs by the Japanese soldiers and they fought fearlessly alongside the US servicemen. Uh, they actually conducted over 550 patrols and each dog had a specific uh, task that they were trained to perform such as messenger, sentry, or scout dog. And during that conflict, 25 of these brave dogs gave their lives and saved just countless servicemen in the process. On one specific instance uh, during the battle to liberate Guam, a Doberman sentry named Cappy was standing guard over 250 sleeping Marines when he detected the presence of the Japanese. In fact, it wasn't just the presence of one fighter, it was a huge force of Japanese troops that were closing in on this unsuspecting uh, camp of US Marines when Cappy alerted them. Uh, he likely saved many lives that day. And actually the first dog to die during the fight to liberate Guam was a Doberman named Kurt, who was killed by an enemy grenade only after warning uh, his fellow soldiers of the approaching Japanese. And today, a bronze statue of Kurt can be found uh, sitting on top of the memorial at the U.S. Marine Corps War Dog Cemetery in Guam, where he and 24 of the other dogs uh, are actually currently buried. Now I got a bonus fact for you guys. The Doberman breed is the only breed in existence that was specifically bred for human protection. Now, I do want you guys to fact check me on that one because I've seen multiple very credible sources that cite this fact, but I find it hard to believe because I know protecting of people and flocks uh, of animals, for example, all that is uh, pretty common use for dogs uh, historically. So I do want you guys to fact check me. I know we got some breed experts on this channel of other breeds. So uh, let me know if you know of any other breeds in the comment section below that were bred specifically for human protection. Apparently from what I'm seeing, it's only the Doberman, that they're the only dog in existence to be bred for that purpose. Now we all know they started out in the 1890s, Carl Frederick Lewis Doberman, a tax collector, night watchman, and dog catcher in Germany uh, was the one that started the breed purposely for the point of providing him uh, personal protection while he's doing his duties. But uh, apparently it is the only breed of dog started specifically for that purpose. So we've pretty well figured out that the Doberman breed is one impressive breed of dog from recovery work after the September 11th terrorist attacks to war heroes. These dogs have certainly given their contribution to mankind and this channel is dedicated to that amazing breed of dog. So if you guys would hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell icon next to it and I'll keep doing my best to support you guys, the owners of Dobermans uh, with everything that I do. So thank you so much. Uh, keep being amazing Doberman breed ambassadors and telling people how wonderful these dogs are. Uh, the word needs to get out about these great, great dogs. Uh, thank you so much for watching and of course, I'll see you next time.